Here's why you shouldn't fear the election. Let's talk about it. What's going on, fam? It's your boy, Legend. Welcome to a Fear Not Minute, a quick thought to just inspire you to trust God and fear not. Today is just real simple. I'm just going to talk from the heart. Very brief. I'm going to keep it short. There's so much I can say. I'm going to keep it real short. Don't fear the election. So many people are freaking out about this election um, the same way they freaked out four years ago and the same way they'll freak out four years from now. Uh, it is the, the country either rides or dies on this election. It rises and falls. It ends or begins. It, it's too much. Right. There's too much. What it, it, you know, you can't do that. Right. You can't do that. We shouldn't place all of our hope in something so temporary to give us our peace. And we can have all the justifications and reasons in the world for it. None of them add up to how we actually behave. What it shows is, especially if you call yourself a believer, that your hope is in this world and not Christ and his kingdom. That's 100 percent what's happening right now. Listen, the reason why I say this is because on many feeds and social media and even in conversations, people are more content on proving their candidate than they are proving the Christ. There's more apologists for candidacy than there are for Christ. Like if you spend more time arguing why your candidate is the one than why Christ is Lord, that's political idolatry. And I could see why you'd be afraid that your candidate wouldn't win because all your hope and your trust is in that kingdom and not Christ's kingdom. That's why people are freaking out so much. It's really political idolatry. I'm going to read this, man. It's going to be really popular in Christmas time. Um, and you know it. Uh, Isaiah 9, 6. For unto us a child is born, a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. The government shall be upon his shoulders. His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Verse 7. Of the increase of his government and of peace, there will be no end. It won't ever stop. And the throne, on the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish and uphold it with justice and righteousness from this time forth and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Why then, if, 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 that's, if, if the government on his shoulders, peace forever, never ends, if that's the promise of the Christ, why are you fighting more hard for, harder for your candidate than you are to prove his supremacy over all things? Why are you fighting so hard to prove that your political party is the one than showing off the kingdom of God and the ethics that he has for us. Why would you trade four years for forever? Don't do that, especially if you're a believer in Christ. If you're not, get to know him. But if you are, prove him more than you prove your candidate. Be more passionate about who's in office instead of who's on the throne. Be more passionate about forever than you are for four years. I know there's a bunch of stuff on all sides need to be talked about. But the bottom line of this minute, my whole platform to you is trust God Fear not. Do not fear the election. No matter which way it goes, Christ is still on the throne. It doesn't matter that much. This has been Legend. It's a fear not moment. I'm an artist and a speaker. There's all types of links and stuff. Check out my music. Check out my messages. YouTube and my website. I put all the stuff below. But I want you to be free of that fear today. I am. Love you. Don't turn away your faces. Don't turn away from cases. Play in the hand you dealt with. Your house of cards is makeshift. The entire your narrative that you've been saying back into our faces, baseless. Divided we stand, united we fall. I'm out of that grave, good gracious.